No one wants to be led. Everyone has become their own leader. No one wants to submit. That's a curse word in the church. Submission and accountability. Another curse word in the church. Our text gives us some insight from these two separate passages of Pauline writings. Paul is telling us today in his Corinthian letter to be followers of him as he follows Christ. The NLT version of, of that text says, and you should imitate me just as I imitate Christ. Be an imitator of him. Yes, we should follow Christ. That is very important. And that is our prime goal. But the Bible has authorized us to submit to human authority yeah. in the church and follow that man or follow that woman. When we talk about imitating and mimicking, there is a heavy responsibility on the leader who's being followed. We must understand that leaders, we are not superheroes. Uh, but we are humans. We cry, we laugh, we smile, we bleed, we have feelings, we have emotions. We're just as human as the next person, but, but we have a heavy responsibility because we have a, a dual accountability. We must give an account for our own personal life and we must give an account of how we run and manage and lead and shepherd God's people and his church. So we are not superheroes. Let us let us uh, subtract that notion from your mind. We're not superheroes. We cannot do everything. That's why it's important that each person in the church, each person that has a role or function, do their function to the best of their ability. If you are a deacon, do the work of a deacon. If you are evangelist, Start evangelizing. If you are a missionary, do the work of a missionary. If you are a trustee, do the work of a trustee. What happens when everyone does not do their job, there is lack. And as a result, because God has held, holds the pastor or the leader accountable, that leader has to now do a dual role. They have to not only pray for you, now they have to do the role of a deacon or the role of a missionary or the role of an evangelist but we have to play our part tell your neighbor we got to do our part. A leader's life will be scrutinized because of who they represent. The Bible says we are ambassadors of Christ. We represent God and the kingdom of God. We represent what God is here on this earth. We represent uh, what the word of God says. We represent all these things so our lives will be scrutinized. You see, we, we can't make, make a mistake. We can, we do, because we're human. But when we do, people will scrutinize you. That's the pastor. Why they did that? I'm human. Tell your neighbor, we're human. We're human. We represent the kingdom of God. But you may get confused with imitating, thinking that you only have to deal with the external and superficial conformity. We are not talking about when we say mimicking or following. We're not talking about mannerisms or a person's vernacular or a person's actions. I remember pastor when I was growing up, we were all of the kids when we were young, we would imitate the preacher, we would imitate the pastor, we would have the pastor shout down, we would have his expressions down, we would have everything how he did or all whatever leaders was in place we would follow them and have our own church in the back when they were praying, we would have our own church and imitate them but I'm not talking about a superficial conformity, but I'm talking about a conformity of the heart. It's not just watching their outward appearance, but we're watching their integrity. We're watching their character. How do they operate when pr the pressure of life comes? How do they operate? How do they respond? How do they react when the pressures of life comes? Because they are the prime example of how we should act. And Paul is telling us through the, his Corinthian letter, follow me 
as I follow Christ. And then if we use, uh, if we break it down in the Greek word, uh, memetis is from uh, mimeomai, which means to emulate or to use as a model. The pace setter or the leader is to be a model or an example for the body of Christ. I'm talking about going through the ministry of the Holy Ghost. Uh, this emulation would create reproduction, not just following, but reproducing. Uh, God's light is produced in us through the power of the Holy Ghost and the Word of God. Uh, God re reproduces in us as we walk by faith. For the Bible says to every man is given the measure of faith. So when problems come, we must activate our faith. When trials and tribulations come, we must activate our faith. For the Bible says the just shall live by faith. So we are on display. We are on uh, 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 on display for the world to see how do we respond when issues of life come. Are we having a pity party or are we praising the Lord in the midst of the situation? Tell your neighbor, you got to praise your way through. You got to praise your way through and praise your way out. Not only through it, but out of it. Uh, God gives us the ability to do. He gives us the, he equips us, and, and that equipping is called his anointing. Uh, he gives us his anointing to fulfill his assignment. He gives us his anointing uh, to produce uh, good fruit. Tell your neighbor, good fruit, good fruit. So the leader will set the pace, the key to following the person you are following is following Christ. Paul says, follow me as I follow Christ. That is the key. If Paul wasn't following Christ, then no one should follow Paul. If your leader's not following Christ, you should, uh, you should have a, a, a real conversation with yourself and say, maybe I'm in the wrong place. Uh, 